I'm Kelly Bryan. I'm the 2023 Alabama Fellow for Visual Arts. This is kind of a harder question for me to answer because I don't really think of myself as a Southern artist, even though I know being in the South is something that really feeds probably what I do. My influences tend to be more international, but I know that the grounding and the sensibility of being in the South is there and influential in the work. Um, it's in the South that I discovered typography to the level that I did, which is a real foundation of what I do and I appreciate. In undergraduate school, I actually double majored in fine art and graphic design, and it wasn't until my senior year I actually declared graphic design. So at that point, it has always been this search of how I can mix graphic design and fine art together. And the outlet for that became, how can I look at typography, because I'm a publication designer, as well as grid structures, form, and how type in itself can come into that. Um, so I was also looking for ways to be off the computer, to work in a more analog way. And as I began to establish how I could do that as a problem solver, I would just set up random constraints and then work within those constraints to make that come together. So the collage process really is I just go about going in, choosing random things, finding a way to put those together and then a different outcome. Actually, I teach and so the way the funding has helped is actually to give me time off from teaching where I could actually focus and really work on the work full time rather than as I can kind of work it in. It actually came from teaching. Um, I mean, I've always been a publication designer and I deal with type, but once you teach something, you come to understand it better. I fell in love with typography. I like to transfer that on to my students, but at the same time, type is something that can have multiplicity to it, it can have meaning, it can be just a pure form or a shape or a structure within a composition. The things I like to play with within the uh, collage is that the typography can be that shape, but it can also be a line of type that's showing through a surface that brings secondary meaning. So the work's really meant to work on a very um, straightforward manner, but then as you spend time with it, especially the artist books, you begin to find more and more meaning with them. Actually, it's just seeking to have fun with what you do. As a designer, many times a project comes with a set of problems you have to solve. I love problem solving, so I'm trying to seek and find a way that I can establish the problem myself. So, for example, in the artist books, I will go and find maybe another publication. I break that publication apart. I reorganize it, I bind it. Then I start to respond to that. What do I think I need to fold, turn, punch? Then I get it to a certain form. Then I go back through, I start to understand what kind of message is beginning to evolve. And then I go in and I edit that text. So sometimes it's more like a concrete poem. Other times it's more of just a straightforward little statement. Sometimes the type stays purely as form and structure and pattern and color. So it's really what the piece is telling me. I'm responding to that and the way that that goes back and forth. It's just a very intuitive way. And the interesting thing about that is once I'm done, I go back and I look at a piece and I'm amazed that there's things my eyes saw that I wasn't aware of. And it has these nice little technicalities or nuances to it that just make you kind of smile, you know? And you really enjoy in the work, but you have to spend time with it to see it. I think as an artist and a designer, I think of myself more as a creative maker, um, a designer and a creative maker. I think so many times we segment, segment what it is that we do, like oh, I'm doing design here, I'm doing fine art here, I'm actually working as a public publication designer here or a painter, I love to paint. But once I found this method within the last 10 years is put all those things together and I really love that. I don't have to segment who I am as a creative anymore. It's I'm doing this and this and each thing's feeding each other. It's just really fun.